So today I wanna to talk about primal movements. This is just a fancy way of saying things that your body should be able to do. Traditionally, there are seven primal movements that are talked about, so we're gonna break them down into multiple videos and start with squat and hinge. You might be asking why start with squat and hinge? Well, your butt and your hamstrings are two of the biggest muscles in your body, so it's the best bang for your buck. A squat is simply sitting down and standing up. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Your knees are bending, your hips are lowering towards the ground, and you do your best to keep a strong torso. The most important thing here is to take a big deep breath in through your belly and keep your eyes forward. Don't worry too much about it being right or wrong. Worry more about what feels strong to you. It's okay to explore where your feet go and how low you go. Start small and work your way down from there. To do this one leg at a time, simply stand on the ground, reach one foot's heel in front of the other foot's toes while bending your knee directly over your toes. For each of these, perform 10 to 15 comfortable reps and do two to three sets to start out. As they become easier, simply add weight or add more repetitions. A hinge is whenever your body bends downward and in half while keeping your knees relatively straight, but not locked out. Imagine touching your toes without your knees bending any more than they need to. If this seems too easy, simply add weight. It's as simple as picking something up and down off the ground. Again, the priority here is to keep a strong torso with a big deep breath in to start throughout the entire movement. Find what feels strong and stay there. To do this on one leg, simply do it on one leg. Hold on to something so that you're not worried about balance. And as your chest comes down, your legs should come up at the same rate. Do your best to keep your hips pointed towards the ground and level. Again, 10 to 15 reps for two to three sets to start out. The beauty of these movements is that it doesn't take much to get strong, and it's always a good place to start and regularly revisit. In the next video, we'll talk about pushing and pulling, so stay tuned.